In this video, we'll add a blog feature to our new WordPress.com website. So let's get started. The first thing we'll do is go to the admin at the top left, click My Site. And then we'll go to the Pages, click under Site, Pages. And we'll see that we don't have a blog page yet. So let's add a blog page. Click Add New Page. And we'll select a blank page. Use blank layout. So we'll call this page blog. Enter. And that's all we have to do to create this page. And we'll publish it. Now that we have the blog page published, let's go back to our admin. And let's go to design, customize. And under home page settings, we're going to assign the post page, which is the blog page, we're going to select the blog page. So this makes our post page the blog page that we just created. So let's save the changes. And we'll close. And now the blog page is our latest post page. Next thing we have to do is get the blog page to show up in the menu. So let's go to Design, Customize again. This time we'll go to Menus. And the primary menu, which is the menu we're using, we're going to add an item, which is the blog page. So we'll click Add Item, select the blog page, save the changes, and we'll close the settings. And let's just view the site. View site. So now our blog page has been created and it's showing up in the menu. Let's just click the blog page. So there's nothing on it because there's no blog post yet. So let's go ahead and add our first blog post. So we'll go back to the admin area, my site. This time we'll go to Posts, and let's add a new post. So this is just a test website, so we'll make a couple of quick posts here. I'll just call it Post1. Enter. And let's add some text. I normally like to just copy and paste from a Word document when I'm doing a blog post. So let's just do that. Copy. We'll go back to our site paste. So there's the title and the text of our blog post. We have to do two more things on a blog post. We'll go to document and we'll go to categories and we're going to add a new category. So we'll click add new category. And let's just call this category one and add new category. Now you can see that this post is checked for category one. So that's what category it will be listed under. Now we're going to add some tags. Let's just add a few tags. Let's call it writing we'll use as a tag because this is an author website. And let's just call this horror. Maybe this is a horror genre that this blog post is about. Now we'll publish this blog post. Click publish and a second time. Now we'll view the post on the bottom left. So here's what our first blog post looks like, the title and the text. At the bottom we can see that our tags are correct, horror and writing, and our category is correct. So this blog post is finished. Let's just create a second one. Go back to my site. Posts. We'll add a new post. We'll call this one Post 2. And again, we'll just copy some text over. Go back to the site. Paste it in. Let's go to Document and select a category. Let's make another new category this time. So we'll add a new category. Let's call this Category 2. There we are. Now let's add a couple different tags. Let's call this Romance. 
and we'll also tag this as writing. See, writing is already a tag that shows up, so we'll just click on that. And then we'll publish this post. We'll click publish again. Now let's view the post. So here's post two, and at the bottom it's assigned to category two, and here are the tags. Now let's look at our blog page on the website. Click blog, and the blog page stacks up all of our blog posts with the newest one on top. So we can see post two is at the top, and below that is post one. Now because we have a blog page with a working blog feature, we should add a sign up form to this website. So let's go to my site. This time we'll go to customize and we'll go to widgets. Now this website theme has widgets in the footer, which is the bottom part of the website and the footer is common to each page. So we'll click add a widget and we'll select the widget for follow blog. So this widget has a title follow blog via email. Done. Now let's save the changes and we'll close the customizing page and we'll view the site. Now let's go to the bottom and you can see now that in the footer of the website, there's a follow blog via email button. Let's just check another page. Let's check the contact page and see if that footer is also on the contact page. And it is. So every page of this website will have the follow blog via email button. So that's all there is to adding a blog page and blog posts and a sign up form to your WordPress.com website. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.